and welcome to Mission TV at the GC 2015. I'd like to ask you to welcome with me our brother here. Can you please tell us your name, yeah, sir? My name is Glenn Santa Ana. Okay, I'm from and Arizona Conference. Arizona Conference. And what do you do there at Arizona Conference? Um, actually, I'm heading out the uh, Asia Pacific Ministries and uh, particularly the Refugees Ministries. Refugee Ministries. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so can you tell us a little bit about this? You know, um, in, in Phoenix alone, we have about eight to ten thousand uh, refugees, and every almost six year, six months, we receive a lot of families from West Africa, from Asia, like Burma, and so what we did as a um, as a conference is that we uh, organized a program. We uh, established the, what we call RNR Center. RNR stands for Refuge and Revelation Center. This okay. is a a, a, uh, a center for refugees. Okay. And we provide different services like, you know, we provide ESL, uh, English as a second language, and we have also counseling. Okay. We provide uh, clothing, food. Okay, so it's refuge and revelation center. Revelation, okay. Right. So they can find a safe place right. and they can learn about God. Right. That's, and they that's can learn other things. Right. Okay, so you're doing the English as a second language. Uh-huh. And also we provide counseling to the, you know, families okay. are, when they come here from, from their place. Other countries. Other countries. They don't know what to do. So different. So different. It's not only um, physical, but more emotional. They've left behind a lot. Right, right. So you can imagine the people from, you know, uh, the Karini, you know, the Karen, and even the Kenya Rwanda. They come here in the United States and they having a hard time And it's here. so different and they've come out of war. So right. not only do they have the total change of being mm -hmm. in a different place, but they've come out of war. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, wow. we base this on, a, you know, remember in the Bible, uh, they put up a city of refuge. Yes. Where, they, where you can go. Uh-huh. So we thought of putting up a refuge and rebellion center. Okay. Where, you know, they can learn. Uh, they, they, it will be a refuge for them. At the same time, we teach them about the Bible. Wow, so. that's neat. So are a lot of the local church members in Arizona, in Phoenix, where this is based, is there, are a lot of local church members involved? Right, right. Uh, we are just grateful that the Pacific Union um, gave us a seed money to start this program. Okay. And that of course, at the same time, our conference, my administrators, they were able to you know, support this project. Oh, praise the Lord. And also the, the churches around, big churches around, they are rallying together to uh, help this program. Oh, good. Because the, the hardest part of the program is to maintain, you know. Yeah. Starting one, is a, I think it's an easy one, but to, to maintain easy. the program is the hardest part. So it's easy to start a project mm -hmm. and it's financially to maintain it is, is what's what you're looking at in, right, the, in right. the future. Okay. That's why we are here in uh, GC. We have a booth A369. Okay. Um, we're trying to raise some funds to uh, at the same time to promote this project right? and to make an awareness all throughout the division that we are here. We are right. ready to help. Right. And Good. we have volunteers from, uh, you know, from ESL teachers, uh, drivers, and we're still looking for uh, two volunteers. We have a new program right now. We call it an immersion program. Immersion. Immersion. Okay. We're looking for a couple or any anybody who would like to uh, join us. And the, the the goal of the program is for them to be able to live among the refugees. Live in the refugee and the refugees area. Because this the, the refugees live they live in um in an apartment. Apartment complex. Complex, and so we are willing to you know provide board and lodging and all they have to do is to mingle with them in a daily know, basis in a daily basis during their in their lives right and so okay. we are we're looking for a couple or somebody who would be able to help us in our immersion program at this time so someone like maybe a bible worker uh yeah something like that it might be it may not be a really a you know a bible worker somebody who could be can talk just to friendship, them. Evangelism. friendship evangelism Okay, wow, that's a, that's a powerful idea. Right, and we'll okay. train them, we'll train them too. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. So, wow, I love this. This yeah. is great because God brought the refugees here to learn uh -huh. about Jesus because in many of these countries, they can't. Yep. There's mm -hmm. no access to the gospel there. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's neat that you guys have stepped up 
to do this in your conference. Now, are there refugees in other cities in Arizona besides in Phoenix? Yeah, we actually in Tucson. You okay, know, in about Tucson. Two hours and a half from uh, Phoenix. Okay. They, they, we also have some refugees there. So our, our plan is to, to extend our okay. um, uh, center to Tucson area right now. Okay, so have That's a sister plan. sister right. center down there mm -hmm. kind of thing. Yep. Okay, so what about children, the children of the refugees? I know some places they've found that, that the schools are, you know, public schools, it's not so good. What are you doing for the children yeah, specifically? At this time, we are, what we are uh, giving them is during the ESL program because the ESL is uh, uh, from Monday to Thursday. So we provide, you know, um, like the child care, child kind care, of thing? babysitting, something like that. Okay. During the the program, the class. Okay. Okay. Praise so, the Lord. Yeah, and they come, you know, they come by 10, 20 of them. Right. Uh, yeah, I know in a lot of areas, like I visited some refugees in uh -huh. Atlanta area, uh -huh. and the the adults have such a hard time learning English. That usually right. their children learn it, and then their children always have to translate. Right. Mm -hmm. And so. That's it's very hard for the older ones. Uh -huh. So I'm glad you're doing the ESL program. That's a blessing. Yeah. Yep. And actually, so. we also have the thrift store. A thrift store. Yeah. Okay. So, so our aim right now is to uh, to make this thrift store uh, bigger, because we right okay. now we have a sm smaller very thrift store. Very small. And our aim is to have to hire the uh, refugees. And that the thrift store will be run by the refugees. So good. For, you That'll know, be good. So they'll benefit from it. Yep. by having a good mm -hmm. job also mm -hmm. yeah i know it's such a challenge yeah such a challenge for them to come over here and i just praise the lord for the work that oh, you're doing praise the lord praise the lord so specific needs that you may have there besides just the ongoing mm -hmm. maintenance i mean maintenance of the program kind of thing the continual funding that you need to right. run day to day are there any special uh -huh. needs yeah, okay. right now um we are in need of volunteers um you know, ESL teachers, we only have three ESL teachers right now. Okay. And uh, at the same time, we are uh, looking for some drivers because we uh, purchased a van, a 12-seater van that transport them from different apartments. We so they could come to the center? To the center. Okay. And so that's where we're... At the same time, you know, we, we would like to solicit their prayers. Yes. Because this is more, the most important one. Right. Yeah. So the van... did. I want to ask you: Do they come to your church? Are there churches for them? House churches? How do they? Yeah, uh, here's here's the here's the good news. Uh, probably good news because you know we, it's a refuge and revelation. Revelation, the revelation yeah. part is you know that's what I'm after for. Right. Um, right now, there are some uh, refugees who are meeting at the center now. Okay, so they uh, kind of have a worship mm -hmm, time once there. Once a month. Once a month, every Saturday, and, and these are not um, you know. They're not Adventists. Adventist They're not co Christian. converted. They're so not even so Christian. Some of them. Some of them are Muslim. So Muslims. Okay. Which is, so I'm I'm happy for that because it it really is serving the purpose. Right. Center. Right. The whole purpose. Right. Helping yeah. them physically. Helping them emotionally with the counseling. Right. Helping mm -hmm. them, you know, to with education in English. Uh huh. And then helping their. their yeah, spirit, you know, the, the counseling part is, is also very exciting for us, because. Um, uh, Jeff, Pastor Jeff Tio, who is part of the uh, you know uh, the program, we, we were chaplains. Okay. And so we we, um, we train chaplains. He trained chaplains, and so we have chaplains in the center. Okay. And at the same time, we are you know there are some refugees who really don't know where to go when there is a crisis in the family. Mm. So we have our 24/7 hotline number where they can call. Oh, praise the Lord. And even the police, you know, in Phoenix, they, they call us. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, so praise the Lord. For prayer then? Yeah, and even you know, for some help. And spiritual help? Mm -hmm. So. Wow. Well, praise the Lord. Yep. Sounds like a wonderful ministry that the Lord has begun there. Yeah. But I'm sure he has plans for growth. Uh-huh. So, well, I want to invite you as our viewers to get involved in this exciting ministry that the Arizona Conference is doing for the refugees in their area. You know, you can pray for them. You can give. I'm sure they have a way. I should ask you. Right. How could someone give if they were impressed to give yeah, to help? Yeah, we have our website. Okay. Our website is um, www.rnr.com. R-N-R? R, yeah. 
It's okay. like refuge and revelation. Okay. Dot com. Okay. So. RNR.com. You can go there and look at what the needs are. You can see their materials there, learn more, and you can donate also. Please pray for this ministry. It is so vital. These people need help, and this is a blessing right. to them. So just please get involved in whatever way the Lord is asking you to. And I want to thank you for being with thank us you. on the show today. And thank you for watching Mission TV GC 2015. God bless you until we see you again next thank time. Thank you. God bless.